what? Um, let me connect here. Okay, I am coming on as a surprise even for myself and um, for anyone that may, I just uh, trust this is streaming. I had issues, morning Rhonda. Um, I did not expect till five minutes ago to be coming on live. So as is, raw and real. And good to see you, Ebony. Hey, Kerry. Hey, Tabitha. This is an extraordinary, exceptional one today. I did one a few day, days ago, Spiro Yasu. I did a live a few days ago in lieu of coming on today. The message was to not be coming on live because of the energies and the word distortion keeps coming yet um, so I just want to welcome you all here for a moment the fact that you're right here now I just want to say hello to each of you personally we're at 11 okay let's start shifting some energy masters um, for anyone new that may be watching this, prepare yourself to come along for a wild, array, amazing ride of both spirit and soul. So we get comfortable, get settled in, because we do not know what's going to come live, that these are being gifted. Everything I share is for a reason and purpose energetically. It's all about you. As <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, always <coughs> throat clearing when I come on. Lots of throat chakra clearing as a blu-ray monad one pushing through creating new energies as i come on each live and speak these will be gifted till october this year possibly then that i may extend to december from then on i don't know what i will be doing in service always always in service so i need to shift those energies for a start so welcome here with everything that's going on. Just take a moment and a breath. Good morning, Angelica. Hi, darlings. Yeah. Hi, Georgina. So basically, it was um, the Orthodox Greek Easter. Uh, yesterday was my name day and every Anastasia, um, which is different to birthdays. And I recently... Um, spoke of the resurrection energies with the previous Easter which is different to the one that I've grown up with doesn't really matter energy's energy and um, Vicky Economou Papa Georgiou who's also um, Greek said is it going to be something coming with our Greek Easter and I said I don't know we'll see well yes there was a mini resurrection we had two two resurrection energies hey Erin Jackie, hey Gracie, Lisa, Rachel, Becky. So, and, and Irini, there's another, a few Greeks on here today, hey. So, okay, big shift happening now. I'm just feeling everybody's energy coming in. And the energy money I'm releasing is stubbornness. So just take a moment to fill into yourself. And on one side is masculine, one is feminine. We're going straight in for healing. Um, I went to bed from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. last night and I've been awake ever since because I want to share with you that yesterday I did a live recorded Zoom with another soul that also works with their mission and I call it, you know, I got a, um, I'm on a mission from God, you know, from the Blues Brothers that she also has a calling as well and what she's helping others with in naturopathy and all the other amazing things, Grace Lomikado. And so we recorded just over an hour, the two of us together in bringing up some areas to do with a lot of people and, um, and it's, 
older therapists, I'll find my notes. The word was older therapists. Um, that a lot of finding, okay, so the big sh healing and shift coming in right now, of self-sabotage of the head, very much of an older energy of pressure of got to help others, got to put others before ourselves first and to the detriment of those people that worked with many people. So it could be anyone, it could be you at home with your own family as well, because a lot of us have roles with who we look after and work with so it's a similar energy of those who have businesses and clients and and that but it's it's the same energy for someone that's not and okay there's another shift of energy going here so i could say therapists healers practitioners of any kind but it really is all of us because it's all about self-healing isn't it so I want you to watch this space because I'm going to put the link after we finish here. I'm going to put a link of this was, it took us seven years and four hours to bring through what we brought through in just over an hour yesterday. Again, I did not expect to come on today. I already did the weekly live energy update three days ago that I would usually do today. So this is exceptional to come on. Okay, I'm just going to see who else is here. P.S. O'Neill, good to see you. And Centel, hello. Hey, Kerry. So I'm. it's interesting. I've got people from the military I was with. I've got people I grew up with. I've got people that know my mum, that I know from my Greek community. There are so many different people from all walks of life that have come on today, probably because they've seen this flash on. Uh, Matthew, hey, Matthew, Diane, um, Wendy, Wendy Palmer. Um, hi from Peggy. Um, so somebody has just shared it was the most amazing healing I shared that gift because Grace and I are gifting this video that I will share after I get off of the two of us together of two females which we call goddesses that come from unconditional love that completely, we've worked seven years together to keep each other alive, for me to come on and, and, and hear and expand and, and for Grace to bring through what she's, it's taken us seven years keeping each other alive, what we both work with. And the seven years and four hours is because yesterday took us four hours before we could push through to actually come on camera. So if you watch that, I will share the link here. We are giving a six month special offer for the two of us together. And if you watch the video, everything is shared there. It was surprised both of us um, when it came through for the exchange, what's involved, it'll be two of us. Um, so that's, that's wonderful. That was very big. Like I said, um, I had two hours from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., which I'm used to little sleep because the more that you work with feeling energies and living in that Buddhist, like that Buddhist energy flow of, um, meditation living connected to god source living in the flow um sometimes we don't need as much and it's a part of a, of us our ascension and you do get used to it over the time that you will require it less and less more rest more meditation whatever but less sleep so today is a big healing and releasing big diamond if you can just picture a big diamond here it's all you need to do for those that may not know these spiritual words and terms I use that have known me when I was in the military, that knew me when I was growing up. I've got a bit more used to <clears throat> the spiritual words I use when I talk 3D and 5D and I'll talk about dragon energies and um, they're just words and tools of my trade and what I do and what it is and I asked a school friend once okay now we just picture rainbows coming in just picture rainbows calming energies down. Just picture rainbows. Hi, Gisela. Jackie. Jennifer Worth. Kerry. Anna Rosa. Fiona. Sean. Natalie. Good morning. Okay. Just picture rainbows. That's all you need to do and you'll feel it yourself. And I said to her, can I just ask, how come you're watching? <coughs> School friend. How come you're watching? excuse me, um, 
because you may not understand some of the things that I'm saying, the terms I'm using, because I'm really very real and grounded and, and I'll swear and I'll, you know, um, and she just said, I love watching, hearing and listening because it brings such good feelings and memories of time in the past. It was just basically, she could just feel the energy and she wasn't focused on, not. A, and that was what a beautiful thing to have been, let know that, it really touched my heart, really, I had tears when she shared that with me. So, dressed up this morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my dressing gown or my uh, night clothes, Diane. I wasn't far off it when I got the tap, you're coming on live. I'm like, I've already done two. <laughs> so, um, and what happens is, is when you share and you gift, um, I call it in service, and you come from a loving space, what people can do is take advantage of that. And because it is a gift and there's other on my uh, website, bluebeyondguide.com, has other packages that I do offer for one-on-one -on -one for someone to have, um, spend a time healing with me that are all life-changing, extremely life-changing. This is from everybody else. Um, that when you give things, people can look at it that it's not value, otherwise I would not be gifting it. No, these are one of the kind in the planet what I'm bringing through that's very new that is missed and not those of you that do know how priceless these are and beyond words and that's why this is only going to be for a certain amount of time because they will be here and then it's up to people I've, I've done many and 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 um, that's my gift from me to you because I care and I love however I also need to look after myself as well I do this for me to share what has been coming to me for 10, 15 years, when I first consciously awoke, I've got a mission and role here 25 years ago. And so I share for me and you take what you need off it. So at the moment, the words came just before I come on, this was another mini resurrection, the last three days. I was, the energy was flat. It was like, um, and for the first time, people were showing the Schumann's resonance. I didn't resonate with what came up on the Schumann's resonance. That was interesting. I usually call it check the stasia resonance because I'll write what the Schumann's resonant resonance shows. I didn't feel it this time. So there's some big changes. Oh, thank you, Sean. I've learned so much from you over the years. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you letting me know. Thank you. Because I learn off you and I learn off others as well. It's good to have some humbleness. There is a lot of still that, the, the mind blocking and energy is being distorted from coming from the head and thinking or linking with what people will see and information that comes in and retaining up there because that feels really lovely up there, isn't it? You know, that's, that's, I call it la-la land. It can be bliss when you're not feeling and, and you're detaching the human and when you, you're receiving information and, and all that. Yet, it's time for truth for those that have been living and operating up there to start bringing that in to the human being. And that's called linking spirit with the soul through the human embodiment. Very briefly, I didn't know was going to go this way I'm, I'm, I'm verbally I've already said a couple of times I've done one super master class number zero regenerate re Genesis 1133 there's a super master class number one coming soon about linking spirit to soul I it is capped at 50 I've had um, a third of that started filling up and some want to be signed up for all I've been given the name of five so far it's an uh, exchange of AU44.40. It's the numbers I'm focusing on, not the dollars. It is the numbers that I've been given. So please, the oracle speaks at bigpond.com. If you would like to have an email <coughs> about when the next one is, it may be in the next two weeks, it will be happening. Thank you to those that have already asked me. I do have your names. If you've sent me an email, you are already on the list. And I will publicly share 
when I've sent an email out and then if you don't get it because yes I'm human I can miss some when you're bombarded and you are a manager master secretary PR you are everything for yourself um, things can be missed and really the ones that were missed were for a definite reason and then they had to watch it in the rerun because these are not for everybody and that's fine that's okay it's no competition hey guy man hey amy jessica rachel yes the energy has been flat it's just and that's why i've had to come on now to it's 919 at the moment so let's take a moment and we're going to i'm going to look up something balance going on at the moment I can feel it okay 919 sacred scribes Joanne Warmsley she's an Australian this is who I read um, everything is a vibration numbers are huge with vibrations and meanings so everything is a sign around you if when if you just pay attention quite often and say so we're at 40 now so quite often um, I will point them out the birds singing there's always birds singing they're quiet this morning what's going on it's a lovely day here um, and the numbers that come up and a lot of you already know this everything a number plate a message a building there are signs everywhere for you to link in what the universe and God is wanting to let you know in reassurance we have so much love and support hello Anna Chrissy Christine hello beautiful Miss seeing you around with the closure. Hey Henrietta. Hey Tanya. Thank you. Really felt the flatness. Okay, you ready for it to feel? So what I do is when I read this out, we can take a moment. And this is for those souls that may not know this. Is we when we tap here, that's called a crown, our crown, and it's called a chakra, which is an energy center. We have seven main energy centers in our body and when we tap here it wakens up for us to receive it really is simple for you to bring in and receive a healing for you from god the universe whatever you call it so as we tap it awakens and allows us to receive more because as i'm going to read and feel while you're tapping i'm just going to bring in some energies if you allow yourself to feel these from above yourself it's here being gifted to you right now because I'm all about proof and I'm all about living proof 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 because hey Lynn there's another one from home wow hey Linny wow 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 <laughs> good to see you here. so people are a lot more open now to energy healings and Reiki and and all that sort of stuff that years ago when I was learning was hidden so there's a lot of us that have been behind the scenes because a lot of people went airy-fairy. A, a lot of people have, it's known in my business what people charge, but the exchange, what people were asking, was distorted. And a lot of people said, I've been ripped off by this person, this, that, the other. Well, that was your experience to have. Um, so, anybody, doesn't matter. You don't need to be spiritual, can understand and feel now, have a look how new this is today, how many people coming on, as I said, from the military and from when I grew up and from those that usually meet here with me every Monday. Because I've written in my notes here, clearing betrayal energies in groups, it's much bigger than just you and your connections with others. So we're forming a new group energy of all these different walks of my life coming in. There's no coincidences in life. No such thing. We're at 43, that's seven. Seven is said to be God's number. <laughs> so I want to share also, I did a series of seven videos I gifted of my time and healing energy that is beyond words. Parts one to seven that you can go back to and start with part one. What are you angry at? And you can watch them in your own time. They're shared on Blue Beyond God YouTube channel, please. If you want to subscribe, please. Um, Bluebeyondguide.com. There's also the, the videos there and everything else I share. And also here um, on this Blue Beyond Guide public page. So it is all 
he for you. And then you can also contact me to have a one-on-one -on -one specifically for you that are extremely life-saving, life-changing, every single one. And Connie, there's another one I grew up with. You know, it's just amazing to see you on here. So what we're going to do is bring in the energy healing vibration of number 919. As I was talking, I flicked to the time and that was a message for me to read what it means. From Joanne Wormsley, Sacred Scribes. Are you ready? We can tap this in. Just to allow, take a breath. You have time. It's all been, everything's been shut down and closure. Oh, it's made no difference to my life. I've lived like this anyway. And to many of us, I've, I've been living like this. The only time I would go out was like when I'd go out and meet up with Chrissy and a couple of others a few times a week. But I've been living at home for a very long time. So for a lot of us, it hasn't really, really affected us so you have time now to come back to you and allow some self-nurturing and some self-healing to take time out for yourself and let go of the outside world what's going on there's a bigger and a higher purpose I'm not getting to any of that I've spoken about it in other videos but just know there is a higher purpose for all of this that's happening in the world so 919 is a blend of the energies and attributes of number nine and one. I recently wrote about nine and one, alpha, omega. I recently wrote about that and I saw someone else wrote those exact things. A nine appearing, uh, appearing twice, doubling its influence. Number nine relates to universal spiritual laws, sensitivity, a higher perspective, an expansive viewpoint. And that's what I just said. And that's why uh, years ago I stopped doing readings, cards, everything. Um, I would just finish giving somebody information. I'd read the card, the runes, and they said exactly the same. I didn't need those. But it's good for people to use runes or cards to give yourself, to link in with your own energy, to get your own message for yourself. Um, you don't need to go to someone else to do that. Or understand that things have changed at the moment. That... I spoke about this more intense with Grace on the video that I will share, as I said, after I finish here, I'll share the link, it's over just over an hour, of there is toxic, darker energies coming off others that people are not realising and they, they are taking it on. So really ultra pull back, pull back, more than these words alone. You'll need to watch that video that I'm going to share soon when I post this for you to get a better understanding. It's to do with what I've been sharing about the inner dark crystal releasing. It's our deepest, what don't you want to hear that you want to say within yourself to you. Okay, we're well really, I've been sharing about this. And I was just talking about what's going on in the world. It says, a higher perspective and expansive viewpoint influence leading life as a positive example for others. Can't make this up. Nonconformity, benevolence, altruism, philanthropy, phil you know that word? Philanthropy and light working. Nine also denotes endings and conclusions. Number one relates to assertiveness, striving forward, new beginnings, inspiration, independence, uniqueness. Yes, yes, yes to all of those. Hey, Christina, Kurtz, Janice. Hey, Jamie. Jamie uh, Z Mahoney did the beautiful artwork that I shared with the white rabbit, um, which was um, a blessing that she let me share that. So um, motivation, action, positivity. Number one tells us that we create our own reality and experiences with our thoughts, beliefs, encourages us to step out of our comfort zone and step towards new directions and opportunities. We <clears throat> have to do things new and different because of what's happening in the outside world. You know, I've called it, and I've said about this before, this is our equivalent of World War Three. But gee, we've still got food we can go and get. We're pretty lucky. We're pretty blessed. Okay? So, okay, there's a big shift of energy happening. Big breath in. Calm and slow everything down, release, 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 because 
It brings a message from your angels that a situation or phase in your life has come to an end and a new door is open for you as a result of your positive thoughts, intentions and actions. Time to make some fresh starts. Look forward to new beginnings in the direction of your life. We're in a process of this, so keep positive, optimistic, Pay attention to your inner visions, dreams. There's a lot happening in dreams that is releasing. Your prayers are being answered and you've manifested all you need in your life. Your true spirituality has come to the fore. Angels are supporting you, guiding you. Uh, they're asking you to allow the old to be released so it's able to be replaced with the new. So I recently shared that it's like the old clock of the planet and our old body clock stopped. On the 13th of April at 7.33 a.m., I felt it through my body. And then it restarted and we have a new clock for whatever that means, many things. I'm aiming to finish this at 30 minutes and we're at 44 people. So, just give me a second, I'm just seeing where I'm going to go from here. Allow what is happening in the world to play out the way it needs to, for everybody else, stay in your own bubble of your own energy. Okay, big healing coming out now. What is also happening, a lot of what we would call OCD is at the forefront that people are releasing. Don't be aware of going in and analyzing, working through somebody else, what they're going through. That is enough for you to start shifting and healing what's going on for them. Pull back if you notice that. Come from I feel. Shift saying I think to I feel is life changing. I've shared this in the video with Grace and I. This is going back to when we were five years old. There was a disconnection of something that happened around five to everybody. That we can refine that link and it's called a new inner galactic child. This is also shifting old abundance issues with all the reset and everything that's happening with the finances. This is to do with abuse of power from the past. We are needing to own our abuse of power in ancient times, Atlantis, Lemuria. We need to own it. And even if we don't, somebody acknowledged with me that they were not aware of what, but they just knew and they just released and asked and said a little prayer I just release of the abuse of that power and they just owned it knowing that they did and that's enough to release it. See, your parents took you to Australia to live at five, Wendy. Interesting. Please take notice of when you say I think and shift it to I feel because when we say I think we can bullshit and fool ourselves. We cannot fool ourselves when we say I feel the head here is one of the biggest blocks at the forefront right now and of self-sabotage. Okay, I'm going to finish up and say that I'm a mirror for you, for you to find what this is for you. I come from pure unconditional love, truth and honesty for you to come home and to help you find you be gentle on yourself, write, 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 write to yourself to help yourself shift and clear. Only you can handle your intensity and your energy. Most times others are unable to handle all of us. So write, write, write to release, release, release. You talking to you, to others, to God, to whoever, release it, writing on paper and that energy will go out. It, many, I've been saying this for many years because I've done it for many years to help me to get where I am now. And those that are now doing it, they're finding how cathartic and life-saving it is for them to write. Okay? Because we're just so powerful. Okay? And sometimes we overwhelm and overpower ourselves. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you.
Good to see you here. Old, new, it doesn't matter. Please look for the link when I post, when this is posted and shared of the gifting of just over an hour of a double healing with Grace Lalocator and I together for the first time that took seven years and four months to bring to the forefront in breaking through new energies, creating new of the old betrayal energies. We've made some huge progresses because this is all about groups now. We are progressing. This is about we need to be united, unity. And, 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 and gathering together and to do that what's coming up now is group energies of disharmony okay people reacting it's you be the God the light you you affect others how you speak to them which is an inner reflection of how you speak to yourself listen to how you speak to yourself and treat yourself please be gentle and kind on yourself and put the stick down i love you very much thank you so much for joining please know i do these weekly at this time until october thank you for joining me